The African Security Watch has raised concern over the alarming rates of insecurity affecting over 70% of African countries. To tackle this challenge, the organization is hosting its 18th awards and conference in Doha, Qatar from December 10th to 12th, 2024. International Coordinator and CEO of Africa Security Watch, Patrick Agbambu, highlighted the continent's underdevelopment due to lack of peace and security. Today, over 70% of, of Africa remains affected by various levels of insecurity. As a result, development stagnates, fear prevails, and too many of our citizens remain trapped in poverty. It is, it is within this context that we at the Security Watch Africa initiatives have chosen the team for the 18th Africa Security Watch Awards and Conference, developing models for people-centric governance towards the enhancement of peace and security in Africa. This team speaks directly to the heart of the challenges we face and sets the stage for actionable discussions that will, pave, that will help pave the way for a more peaceful and secure Africa. To ensure that this conference delivers practical and insightful solutions, we have carefully selected an array of distinguished keynote speakers, lead paper presenters, and panelists from across the continent and beyond. Former Director of Army Public Relations, Brigadier General Sani Kukasheka Usman, retired, emphasized the unique aspect of this year's edition with in-depth research and expert presentations. The 18th edition of the annual conference and awards will take place in Doha, Qatar, and the reason being uh, the fact that uh, we want to get the best for our people and the simple fact that uh, they represented uh, one of the best you can in terms of human capital development and all the well-being and top-notch security. So we want to get the best practice. And it has been the tradition, you know, uh, there was time we were in Dubai, we were in South Africa, we were in the Gambia, and so on. And um, this year is so unique in the sense that um, an in-depth research has been carried out and uh, looking at uh, the fact that uh, you cannot divorce security with development. And uh, we realize almost 70% of the countries that make up the African continents are experiencing one security challenge or the other. And uh, we are so determined to ensure that these problems are uh, dealt with in the sense that, uh, so that we can have development on the African continent. And quite a number of uh, experts and intellectuals have been lined up to discuss this issue. It is not a question of discussion, but a question of following through to ensure that recommendations are fully implemented by advocating to various stakeholders. A past award, Pastor Chukuma Ngokocha, testified that the award motivated him to do more in his ministry. After that award, there has been a kind of encouragement, not only encouragement, I saw myself that, hey, if I can be doing this, I should do more. And apart from that, some of the members of my ministry saw it as, Pastor, you need to really work. If you really recognize what is the thing you are doing, why don't you add more? What are the things we are doing? Touching the lives of less privileged. We got to a time, uh, the place we used, the hall. People were so much that they saw what was motivating me was that part well, Yes, I have a passion, I know what I'm doing, but that additional thing that I got from uh, Dubai, even till now, is still working in my life. Over 30 Crystal Award trophies will be presented to deserving individuals and organizations across Africa, recognizing their contributions to security and development. 
The conference program features extreme speakers including Nigeria's Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, Lagos State Governor, Babatunde Sawunlu, and Lieutenant General Taurid Lagbaja, the Chief of Army Staff. The 18th Africa Security Watch Awards and Conference promises to be authentic, rewarding, and glamorous, offering actionable solutions to Africa's peace and security challenges. From Abuja, this is Lawrence Audu for DevTube Africa.